What's up guys? So we have a little different plan of a video today. First off, it's going to be an actual vlog. And second thing is I'm actually going to go do stuff for a change. We live about half an hour out of Pittsburgh, which is like our closest major city. And there's all this stuff that we can do and I've never had the chance to go do it. So today we're going to go axe throwing, which is out in Homestead, Pennsylvania, still part of Pittsburgh. And then afterwards, me and my camera lady, Ashley here, are going to go to Permani Brothers. And this is also going to be the first video, guys, that there's going to be no fitness. This is just a straight up vlog, no tricks. We're just going to go axe throwing and I'll show you a Permani Brothers sandwich. So we're going to head out there now, which is probably like another half an hour trip because we're stuck in traffic. And we'll see you again when we get there. Hey guys, where did Kevin go? Where could he be? Ah. What's this? What are you doing, Kevin? I gotta get a sick pump. I lied to you guys. There's gonna be a little fitness in this video. Can't be looking flat. <laughs> Many of these stars out here nowadays, they show the best lighting, they get the best pump. You gotta look good in videos, guys. Ah. Whew. That was like a thousand of them. We got a pretty good pump. Now Look. we're gonna head on up to go throw some axe. All right, guys, we made it. Check this out. Be like one of those spiky balls. <laughs> this is ace axe throwing, guys. One and a quarter pound hatchets. And he said you can basically set this thing up in your backyard. I wouldn't recommend it, though. <laughs> you guys will probably hurt yourselves. So just come here instead. spiky balls and no matter what angle you hit it at it'll stick <laughs> all right for the record guys this is not as easy as it looks this is like a harder version of darts come on Ashley show us how it's done Alright guys, almost one hour in. Here's how we're doing. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a close. Because <laughs> you have the camera on. Just do it. There you go. I think I wonder if I closed that screen. There. <laughs> there I put my face in it. <laughs> Alright guys, so that was a pretty good time. I think we can see you now, Ashley. That was actually really fun. Something, like I said, I've never experienced before. Oh, my fanny pack is smacking off my dick. <laughs> so, we just finished that up, so we're gonna head now to Permandy Brothers, another local favorite of Pittsburgh. We're not gonna go the original one, though. There's another one, and it's probably less busy, so we're gonna go there, especially because it's Saturday night. So, we're gonna go get some food, and we'll take you guys along. Oh, guys, I have an issue. And that is, the guns need some love. And no, I won't quit referring to my arms as guns. If you guys know what movie that's from, that'd be great. All right, let's go ahead and go inside. All right guys, I'm like 100% sure this audio is gonna wash out, so I'm gonna make this quick. I ended up getting the pitch burger, which is their version of a burger. Coleslaw, french fries on the sandwich. I'll tell you guys a story about it when you guys can hear me better. 
We got some boneless wings here as an appetizer, honey buffalo. We're gonna split those between me and Ashley. And here's what Ashley got. Got me a Italian sausage with fries and coleslaw and tomatoes and all kinds of good stuff. All right, so like I said, we're gonna eat this when this isn't gonna wash out because I know this audio is not gonna come through because this mic sucks. See you guys after we finish this, and uh, we're gonna enjoy this. Whew. All right, guys, so we just finished up that meal. I'm a little hot and sweaty from eating, and a giant walk up the hill because I park in the last space available. That's the very top of the hill. I gotta make it interesting. So let me tell you guys a story from Manny Brothers real quick since you can hear me a little better. Uh, you guys might have noticed there was uh, coleslaw and french fries on the sandwich, which really doesn't happen anywhere else. The reason for this was whenever Pittsburgh used to be a steel city, steel workers only used to get a 10 to 15 minute lunch break. So if you have a sandwich and two sides, it's probably going to take you longer than 10 to 15 minutes to eat. Plus, you got to leave the factory and go get your food. So they came up with the idea of putting it all on one sandwich. And I must say, it is absolutely delicious. It was Ashley's first time actually trying it. I couldn't even finish it. There's so much food on it. And uh, so, I mean, you get your money's worth. I think that meal with an appetizer and drinks, we only paid like 30 bucks. So, I mean, good quality food and it's affordable. So, the can't beat that. wings were amazing. Yeah, those wings. I, yeah, I showed you guys the wings. They were pretty good. But, all right, I've started to ramble. We're gonna wrap this video up, guys. I hope you enjoyed this vlog with zero fitness whatsoever in it. We didn't, we didn't have any fitness. There was none. None the whole time. Yeah, none. So, remember to comment, like, and subscribe. We gotta grow the pound. Hurr!